Hello, and welcome to Planning with Art by Tracia. If you are new to my channel, welcome. We would love to have you. And to my current subscribers, welcome back. Thank you for subscribing. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell. That way you're notified every time I post a brand new video. And let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way. How are you guys doing today? I'm recording this early, so about time you get this, it will be uh, maybe a couple of days later, more than a couple of days later when you get it. But um, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I wanted to do, if you haven't seen my video on how I set up my um, budget book with the Budget Moms workbook, please take a look at that video so it'll explain exactly what's going on here. Um, right now, I wanted to show you the uh, sinking funds, which is the categories that, that are in this envelope or this binder, I should say. And then I have the variable funds, which is in this category. Um, and this kind of breaks down. I, I The last video pretty much shows how I broke this down within 52 weeks. I'm not going to go over that. But let me see if I can turn or zoom you in right quick so you can kind of see. So right now we have 354 that I'm going to stuff today. We have 634 left over from the sinking funds last week, in which I got my total here. We have 76 that was left over in the variable funds, in which this is the total here. And then debt snowball had $142 left over, in which I rolled over here. And then last but not least, you have the um, rollover funds that we had, which is $313, in which I included here. It was actually $373. One of the um, one of you guys caught me in, in my last video. It was supposed to be, I think I gave an incorrect amount. <laughs> and this one person caught me. Shout out to you for catching that. But it um it was $373. I ended up spending $60. Bucks, so 313 is what we're rolling over today. And I'm gonna bring this back up. Look, I apologize if it's a little crooked. I think this is everything. Okay. And let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. And we'll bring that back. So I have about, I want to say it is 470 or 470 ish. So that's what I have to stuff today. And I'm going to bring this down a little bit here. I apologize for adjusting, but I want to make sure everything looks okay. Look at my little Insta camera, bring it in for you to see. And my, my crystal, I'm gotta have my crystal. Let's see if I stand it up, if it looks a little bit better. Yeah. My Instax camera and a little prop here. <laughs> little Paris for you. And you probably can't even see the Paris, but oh well. All right, so let's go ahead and get this show on the road how are you guys doing how is your your two days in of new year going or in this case it'll be about five days in when you get the video how is it going for you have you set new year's resolutions i know i did not aside from my budgeting journey um i do want to lose some weight about 20 pounds <laughs> Um, and then, I don't know, we'll see how this all plays out. 
All right, and I'm probably gonna have to shift this anyways. I did all that for nothing, because now that I think about it, I'm gonna need the platform to count it out for you guys. Let's bring her here though. You know I love elephants. <laughs> the elephant gotta be displayed. Okay. <clears throat> so in my last video, I introduced my new, um, what do you call this, tracking system. And we are gonna go ahead and get started. And I kind of already pre-filled it for you. So let's start with, Brandon and Brandon is going to get $20 and there's some new money it's kind of sticky so this brings Brandon to $65 that's 20 40 65 And shout out to my old and new subscribers. You guys, I, like the video before last, oh my God, it went up like 50 subscribers within like a walk. I'm like, oh my God, thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in. That I, look, I'm over excited, <laughs> super excited. All right, so Christmas is going to get 20. And that'll bring Christmas to 20, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's $45 for Christmas. Imani is going to get 31. And that's a 10. I'm sorry, a 20, a 10, and a 1. And currently Imani, or this will bring Imani to... Twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, eighty, five, six, seven, eighty-seven bucks. And then Louis Vuitton, my excited new envelope. Look, so the last video I said I wanted to get the Neverfull and the Zippy Wallet. However, I done seen some stuff on there that has blue stripes down it, and you know I love blue. So that might be changing, <laughs> we'll see. But I can't wait to even purchase the first item from this envelope. So Louis is going to get 51, so that's a 50 and a one. And that'll bring Louis up to 51, 61, no, what am I doing? <laughs> 50, 100, 10, 11, 12. $112. I almost did it again. All right. Home is going to get 20. And that'll bring home to 60 bucks. 20, 40, 60. Tech is going to get 15, a 10, and a 5. And this will bring Tech to 10, 20, 5, 35. $35 in Tech. Y'all, I seen, I'm not going to tell you what I seen. I'm just going to show it to you once I get the money. For tech, once I get the amount, I just want to show you what it is that I am going to purchase. It is so cute. And it may be like, girl, you don't even need that. But look, I want it. <laughs> Rainy Zay is going to get 20. Okay, let me get it out. So for Rainy Day, we have 60 bucks, 20, 40, 60. Giving is going to get five. And this will bring giving to $15. Y'all, I have a big heart. I be wanting to give away so much. Like, 
I wish I had millions of dollars. Like, no one would go without, I promise you. Like, <laughs> I'd be wanting to give away stuff. And they like, girl, you need to handle yourself first. But look, my heart is super big. <laughs> Savings is going to get 52. And this will bring savings to, I'm loving these 50s. Yes, savings. 50, 100, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 154 dollars. Student loans. I'm not excited about this category, but look, they need to be paid off. I'm sick of looking at them. So student loans is going to get 25 and that'll bring student loans to 20, 40, 60, 75. So $75 in student loan. Trip is going to get 23. Look, I tell you these new bills, they stick in. And that will bring trip to I had my cousin watching my videos <laughs> and he was excited he was like wow I want to budget with you so um, I'm working on his binder set speaking of um, Etsy should be up by the end of next week preferably Friday Saturday time frame so um, be on the lookout. I will announce it that way if you're interested in a binder with the cash envelopes um, You'll be about what a week and a half too late, but it's never too late to start All right, so trip has 20 40 5 6 7 8 9 51 51 in trip And then miscellaneous is going to get $10. And someone asked me on Instagram, how do I not dip into the funds? Like, how do I stay disciplined? One of the things that allows me to stay disciplined is that I have to come to you guys and show you what I have left, showing that I haven't touched it, showing that you can do it. Not only that, my year-end video showed how much I could save. So it's inspiring. It makes me want to keep going. So that's why I don't dip into it. Now, don't get it twisted. I Remember I told you last year that I do set monies aside in my account. <laughs> in my account, those funds you don't see. So... Yes, I am on a budget and I can't really touch this money. And I try not to dive into the funds that are in my account unless it's for business purposes only. Um, so those monies you don't see, I do dive in for business purposes. But for these, I stick to the budget. There's, I think there was maybe one or two times that I did not stick to the budget. And it kind of threw me off and I was kind of mad about it. But... It can be done. It's obtainable. So for miscellaneous, it's 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 25. And then for debt snowball, I already know what's left over because I already budgeted it out in the Budget Moms workbook. So we're going to have 62 left over for debt snowball. And typically that snowball is supposed to be done at the end of the video. Whatever you have left over, you kind of split it between that snowball and rollover funds. But I already knew what I was going to have left because I did the, the budget book. So that's 20, 40, 61, 2 on top of, let's try that again. So that snowball has, and that snowball is racking up already. 120, 40, 60, 1, 2. Nope, I'm doing that all wrong. Y'all forgive me. These 20 is all out of order. Third time's a charm, right? Here we go. 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 1, 2, 3, 4. $204. And there's two ways you can do that snowball. 
you can either wait till the end of the month and apply what you have in this envelope to whatever debt it is you're going to pay off or you can wait till you have the amount and then use that amount to pay the debt so either or two different ways you can do it and then rollover funds um we're going to do that last i don't believe we have anything left over for rollover funds but we'll see we shall see let's bring over my beauty so for beauty she's going to get 40 and that will bring beauty to i believe i have 40 in here 20 40 60 80 and i'm trying to get her up a little bit more and then i will go and get my nails done right now they're okay but um i'm over the the white <laughs> all right so grocery so here's what the deal with grocery and i've decided to incorporate the one dollar the five dollar and the ten dollar challenge so currently we have 54 dollars in grocery or i'm sorry we have four dollars in grocery because we spent um we spent 40 something, 47, nope, I can't even count. So we had 50, we spent 46 and it left, it left us with $4. This $4 is going to go into my $1 challenge. So I'll set that to the side here. And then we're gonna put 50 into grocery. 20, 40, 50. And anything that's left over out of these four categories, which is um, the beauty, grocery, events, and gas, anything left out, out of there that's either a one, a five, or a 10 is going to go into my savings challenge for those. All right. So, events, we have 22 left in it. We're gonna take these two in our $1 savings challenge and we're gonna add in $10. I think that should wipe this out. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That'll bring it to $30. Now keep in mind. <laughs> For events, I was supposed to take these two tens out. And you know what? I'm going to do that right now. I'll just update this. Because because I said I was going to do the one, five, and tens challenge, I am definitely going to take this out. And I am left. Nope, I'm not going to do that because it's going to throw me off. Look. We'll see what it's what's left over after. What should I do, y'all? Give me some advice. I think I should take it out. Because if I take it out, then I'm following what it is. And I'm just adding $10. So I'm going to take it out. $10 is going towards the um, $10 challenge. And we're left with 10 ones. And if we don't spend the 10 ones next week, then guess what? The ones go to the $1 challenge. Yep, I'm on track. <laughs> All right. And then lastly, gas currently has $10 left in gas. We are going to put this in our $10 challenge. Yep, I'm on track, y'all. $10 challenge. And we're going to bring in 20 for gas. And these are the envelopes that will be, um, it's about eight of them, I believe, with different categories. If you haven't seen them on Instagram, I've debuted them on Instagram, but these are the ones that will be in this binder. It's either gonna be a clear binder, this color binder, or a, um, it's like a dark gray binder. It's gonna be one of the three. I will have them starting next weekend when I launch my Etsy shop. 
But that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and for watching. Thank you for all the love, the comments, and subscribing, and for sharing my video. I really, really appreciate you guys. Um, thank you so much, and you have a wonderful day.